What's up everybody, The Poets here, and this is a compilation video of a lot of the stuff I did on TikTok, having replaced the stock 120 millimeter AIO with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 120 millimeter AIO to cool a 10900K. Spoilers, it's amazing. There is a workaround for some of the issues that I had, and you'll see that in the video. I hope you enjoy, and let me know if you have any questions. Just because we have a $899 distro case 350p by Thermaltake doesn't mean that I was done with the HP Omen 30L, a $3,099 pre-built PC. Its 10900K was being cooled by a 120mm AIO, which did okay for gaming and didn't really get up to snuff when it came to video editing. I reached out to Arctic to see if they were up for the challenge, if their 120mm Liquid Freezer 2 AIO could cool a 10900K better than what HP Omen included in this really impressive system overall. Just these two little screws held it in here and it was on like a tray, very easy to remove. Once I remove the pump, I'm gonna have to see if I can take off the actual back of the case or if I have to remove the entire motherboard. So stay tuned. What does cable management look like on a $3,099 pre-built PC? The HP Omen 30L, on its first good job that I saw was this back panel, it only took this little screw to take it off. Very good job, I love that. One of the first things I saw was all of the overspray. Look, look at all that overspray, that's, that's pretty crazy. It's kind of like all over the place. Next, they didn't have much room to work with. Like this is my fingernail and look how much depth is actually there or not there. Like that's pretty crazy. And so they're able to wrap that around. All right, good stuff. Tie it up there, good stuff. Thin cords is what they need for this. This actually feels really cool. Um, they could have probably done something a little bit better with this area here. But overall, with the little tiny space that they had to work with, they get an A for effort. I will give them that much. They get a fail for no cutout though. I have to take out the motherboard in order to, to install this. You know what's awesome about this pre-built PC, HP Omen 30L? Some of the screws that I have over here, and all of these screws, this whole system is basically taking apart. They're all the same screws. Even the brackets right here, same screws. The only difference was this little uh, Wi-Fi 6 adapter, really tiny screw for that little tiny hole. Other than that, they're like, you know what, let's save money. All the same size screws for everything. That is awesome. Great news, everybody. We're stuck. Literally, HP glued this freaking thing on here. I need to put the Liquid Freezer 2 by Arctic, yay Arctic, on here. This thing is nice. Let's, let's unbox it. Look at this bad boy. That's beefy. Personally, I think Arctic is one of the most stylish AIOs around. No RGB, looks like a Batmobile, has a little fan on there to help cool VRMs. Have you seen the VRMs on this thing? And I need to pry this thing off in order to put the back plate on. Nope, that didn't work. So I was able to rip this off. Lots of fun. This is the back plate to this, and now this is the new back plate from Arctic. These are the Arctic standoffs. So it's very simple, just put on the back plate and screw those in i9 10900k by the way. Now to install the brackets on the bottom of this Arctic Liquid Freezer 2. And not forget to take the plastic off. Some MX4 because this is what I had on here before and I want to make sure it's all the same. And I'm going to spread it around because I want to make sure the entire IHS is covered. That's why these spatulas exist people. So you don't leave room to chance. There you go, verge style. Here we go. Oh, one-handed. Oh, it's a little tough. Oh, oh, oh fail. Uh, uh. There we go. Shiny. I have to say that the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 120 millimeter AIO fits like a glove, at least on the motherboard. We'll see if we can get this part in the case. All four points are screwed in. Make sure you do that in a crisscross formation. And now, this is the old AIO. Just need to take off this sliding bracket. It looks like just regular screws right there for fans. And put it on the AIO here. 
very easy. So we now have the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 120 millimeter AIO on the HP Omen 30L's motherboard and the bracket that then also goes on the radiator. So now to make sure it all fits. And just like that, it fits with only two screws left over. Oh wait, one goes to the side panel. So one screw left over. Yeah, it happens. Next step is just to put the RAM back in, the GPU, and close it everything up. Turn it on, hopefully it turns on, and then uh, start benchmarking to compare it against what the previous AIO did. Let's see if a, if a 120 millimeter Arctic AIO, the Liquid Freezer 2, will keep this 10900K nice and cool. Or is it gonna burn up and die? No idea. But either way, thank you to Arctic for this 120 millimeter AIO review unit and stepping up to the challenge. We may need an F in chat, people. In the interest of time, everything has been diagnosed, everything is plugged in correctly, everything looks great. But I think when I ripped off this annoying backplate, um, something may have cracked in the motherboard. And this was hard to get off, even like moving slow and everything and still like ripping it off. So I may have destroyed the motherboard. Um, yeah. This is what it does. And you know me, I, I've been thoroughly diagnosing everything. All the RAM works in, in other PCs. GPU works in other PCs. Um, the processor works. Uh, so what I am going to do is disassemble the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2. And as long as there's full contact, then I know that the motherboard's broken. There's nice full contact. So yep, the motherboard is cracked in the back. F and chat. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I got it working, but you're not going to like it. Let's recap. HP Omen i9 10900K pre-built CPU, you know, PC, 10 cores, 20 threads. Temperatures would be eh, kind of redlining when gaming, but perfectly fine. Fairly thermal throttling, but some video editing, all kinds of redlining and all kinds of thermal throttling. This is the PC that HP sent me, HP Omen 30L with a 10900K and the RTX 3080, $3,099. One of my partners, Arctic, stepped up to the plate and said, hey, try our Liquid Freezer 2 120 millimeter AIO to see if it makes a difference. A look at the cable management, it actually is not too bad. And here it is working, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, the motherboard will not recognize Arctic AIO, but it will recognize the stock AIO. So I have the stock AIO plugged in, but the Arctic AIO plugged in as a secondary fan. Boom! So in order for me to get the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 120 millimeter AIO to work, I would have to boot up the system with the stock AIO and then rip it out and then it just runs on the Arctic. So interesting. Now to time spy. In my previous Time Spy Extreme video, the highest temp was 96 degrees with lots of thermal throttling, as you see in the yes, 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 right there. So let's take a look. This is so ridiculous. And we're now running. This is HP's Omen 27i monitor, and I absolutely love it. So far, this 30L is whisper quiet while this is running. 10900K and an RTX 3080. We're at the CPU stress test and it's whisper quiet. The audio level is barely noticeable now. Five degree drop, zero thermal throttling. For the HP Omen 30L, I'm about to show you the Time Spy uh, temperatures. And this is the old AIO. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 is stuck in there. Very, very interesting. With the stock 120 millimeter AIO, the maximum temperature was 91 degrees Celsius. There we go, no more reflection. For the Liquid Freezer 2 by Arctic, a 120 millimeter AIO cooling an i9 10900K, the maximum temperature was 82 degrees Celsius, core max. I definitely have more tests to run, but this is just bonkers. A nine degree difference, same condition, same ambient temperature. Arctic is just an amazing company for AIOs. I love them for the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2, the 280 millimeter. The 120 millimeter has proven that it can easily handle an i9 10900K. What's happening everybody, the poets here. So these videos I did tonight, I hope it puts to rest the whole, your PC is gonna burn because you have a 120 millimeter AIO. 
it goes with any type of air cooler as well there's some good ones there's some bad ones arctic as i've been saying many times and i've proven in previous videos for different models this model in particular a 120 millimeter aio by arctic can cool a 10 900k very hot processor it's running all the gaming benchmarks zero thermal throttling and temps are dropping by like 9 10 degrees celsius compared to the stock aio so there's just different qualities so overall hp you've been awesome thank you so much for this hp omen 30l review unit the 27i this monitor is amazing arctic is just one of the best partners around as well just always supplying gear whenever i ask so thank you guys and let me know in the comments if you have any questions on all this Final video on the HP Omen 30L with an Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 120 millimeter AIO installed in it to cool an i9 10900K. It's been spectacular. In order to work around the BIOS issue, it cannot be plugged into the main pump header right there. It has to be plugged into the secondary one. So when you reboot the PC, it's gonna give you a prompt and you just sit enter. Say yes, there's no cooler and it's fine. The scores have been wonderful zero thermal throttling while going through all these benchmarks constantly top 95 percentile of all results i love the temperatures as well the max has been 90 and i've struggled to try to even hit 90 the glass was on by the way and it's been entirely quiet every single benchmark for gaming entirely quiet so this has been a great setup i hope this has been a helpful compilation and let me know in the comments if you guys have questions Thank you.